So in today's video, we're gonna talk about where should I live when making a move to Marietta, Georgia. I'm gonna go over seven key points, key thoughts, and key steps about moving to Marietta, Georgia. Let's get right to it. Hello friends and welcome to my Living in Merida, Georgia channel. I'm Dan Hillsman and if you're new to this channel, it's all about what it's really like to live, eat, sleep, play, and everything in between in Merida, Georgia and surrounding areas. And if you're not new here, welcome back. One of the key things you want to think about when making a move to Merida, Georgia is how close to Atlanta, Georgia do you want to be? So different parts of Marietta will get you to, into the city a lot faster than other parts. And then how close to the highways do I want to be? To elaborate there a little farther, which highway do I want to be near? Highway 41, which would take you into Atlanta without being on a big eight lane, 10 lane highway? Or do you want to go down 285 or 75? So which highway do I want to be near? And how much access to Atlanta, Georgia do I need when living in Merida, Georgia? So that was number one. Now let's look at number two. Number two is how important are is shopping and restaurants to you? So two different vibes in Marietta, Georgia. If you're on the west side, uh, close west side of Cobb County, Marietta, Georgia, you're gonna want probably go to the avenues, a lot of restaurants and shopping there. Anything you wanna buy is in the avenues or do you wanna be closer to the East Cobb side, a, more of a mall feel with lots and lots of different restaurants there. So how important is shop is physical shopping, not online shopping, and going out to eat in the different restaurants with your family. Lots and lots of restaurants, any type of food you can imagine. Downtown Marietta has a great foodery where you have restaurants within the same building and you can go and eat. So I did a video on that not too long ago, but where do you wanna be as far as shopping and restaurant. I've lived near and around Marietta, Georgia for a long time, so if you want help with that, reach out to me and we'll talk about that. But now let's look at number three. Number three is if you're an avid walker or a hiker or want to be outside, then you want to be a little closer to Kennesaw Mountain. And so part of Marietta it touches right on that border of Kennesaw, Georgia and Marietta, Georgia. Gets you super close to the mountain super close to great walking trails, great hiking, uh, picnics, and things like that. So if you love hiking, if you love being outdoors, if you love going on jogs, and then you want to be, you may want to be closer to Kennestone Mountain. Now let's look at number four. Number four, do you want to have a home on just a little lot or a big lot? So if you want a bigger home on a bigger lot, or even maybe a smaller home, but a lot size is important to you, then you'll probably want to be on the West Cobb side of Marietta as opposed to the East Cobb side of Marietta. So different, a uh, little bit of a different feel on the West Cobb side than the East Cobb side of Marietta, but definitely more options for you. If you want a bigger lot and more land for your home, you'll probably want to be closer to Powder Springs and on that side of Marietta. So now let's look at number five. Okay, number five is pretty cool. If you want a much bigger home at a bigger price point and you want to live at the, on the foothill of a mountain or a couple mountains, then you can do that in Marietta, Georgia. So part of Marietta, Georgia backs up the Kennestone Mountain and a couple of neighborhoods, very few neighborhoods also, uh, you can get a lot or a home that actually backs up to national uh, grounds. So if you want that feel, if you want that boundary that you're sure never change, then you want might want to be next to one of our big parks or one of our mountains that has a national ground. So now let's look at number six. Number six is super important if you're concerned about high school or high school ratings. So uh, Marietta has some high schools that have notoriously been on, on greatschools.org. It's where I check the ratings. On the ratings on greatschool.org, uh, a couple of different, two to three different high schools have been really close or at 10 for many, many, many years. So really high rated public schools in Marietta. We also have some great private schools in Marietta and then other parts of Marietta closer to a seven, sometimes a six for the school ratings. So you want to check, a, or I check greatschool.org when I'm looking for school ratings. Big difference in Marietta as far as the school ratings and just be mindful of that. Greatschools.org is a great resource, but currently 
ranging from about a six to the tens for the school ratings. Now let's look at number seven. Number seven is the traffic. So different parts of Marietta have big traffic problems. So if you're really close in a suburb that's very close to the highway, sometimes it could be a nightmare getting in and out of your subdivision. Well, a nightmare might be a little strong, but it could be a big deal getting in and out of your subdivision. So you wanna be super mindful of the traffic in Marietta, how close you are to the highways. Um, you're very close to Atlanta, 30-ish minutes, depends on traffic. But where you want to live, how much traffic do you want to have to deal with? Parts of Marietta, you can be tucked away on a couple of side roads and not have to deal with traffic on a daily basis getting in and out of your neighborhood at all. So that's a good reason to reach out to me. I've lived in that, I've lived in Marietta. I've lived in, I live very close to Marietta right now. I can help you with all these seven steps. So once again, I'm Dan Hillsman. I'm a real estate broker. I've been on calls almost daily helping people with their move to Marietta, Georgia and surrounding areas. And I'm happy to help you too. You can give me a call, a text, an email, or schedule a Zoom call using the calendar link in the description below. However you want to get a hold of me, I've got your back when making a move to Marietta, Georgia, or surrounding areas. So enjoy, as always, I enjoy making videos outside. Check out this historic home behind me. So what a beautiful, that's a live, real background. And you know, love being outside, love making videos. So if you need any help with anything that you've seen in any of my videos, I appreciate you tuning in and uh, just what a beautiful day here, but check out some of my other videos if you're looking for other homes besides Marietta, Georgia, or you can reach out to me. I'll be happy to help you that any way I can. Make it a great day.